Jennifer, thank you. Right now, the hunt for answers continues after a woman walked into Lakewood Church with a long rifle, rifle and a child and then started shooting. Yeah, that woman was killed by law enforcement and this morning police want to know her motive behind the shooting. I think you need to be Where are you at? Lakewood Church, Lakewood Church, Lakewood Church. Lakewood Church in Ralph. We need units at Lakewood Church. Active shooters. We're told she began shooting just before 2 p.m. between afternoon services. At some point, she was shot and killed by two off-duty officers. The young child, either four or five years old, was shot along with another man who was in his 50s. We have Lime Tea coverage for you this morning. Victor Jacobo is live for us at Lakewood Church to break down exactly what happened there. But first, we will start with our Ugochi Loka, who's live outside a home in Conroe. Ugochi, how is this home connected to the investigation? Yeah, right now we're still working to confirm the exact connection uh, to the home here. But what I can tell you at this hour is that there is at least one tie to yesterday's shooting in reference to the house in this neighborhood. Also at this hour, I can tell you that law enforcement officers are in the vicinity. You can't see the po several police units behind me right now because it's dark, but they are here. And at this point, they're not commenting on the nature of this investigation. Take a look at your screen here. This is video of federal agents spotted in this Conroe neighborhood last night. At this hour, we're still working to learn a lot more about the shooter. Houston police say a 30 plus year old woman who walked inside Lakewood Church on Sunday shooting with a long rifle was shot and killed by two off duty officers. The woman had a child as young as five with her shot in the exchange of gunfire between her and the officers. The child HPD says is in critical condition at the hospital and another man was shot in his leg in the cross. Fire. Here's what Chief Finner and Pastor Joel Olstein had to say about this tragic shooting. Places of uh, worship. That's what they are. And that's what they will remain in our city. We don't understand why these things happen, but we know God's in control. And we're going to pray for that little five-year-old boy and pray for the lady that was deceased. Yeah, right now we're still working uh, to learn the connection between this woman as well as this little boy still fighting for his life. In the meantime, we're going to send it over to Victor Jacobo, who is live at Lakewood Church, who has more on eyewitness accounts. Victor. Yeah, Gochi, this morning we're learning more about the harrowing stories from people who were inside Lakewood Church during the moments when those shots rang out. Now, when the shooting happened, it was just minutes before spurt service was set to begin around 2 p.m. That meant people were filling inside the building right before that service. Witnesses told KHOU how they managed to run out of the building or were forced to find cover inside before police could respond to the scene. Now, the situation was terrifying, especially for parents who were separated from their children we're at the daycare center inside Lakewood. Now here you're going to listen to a scary account of a young boy who was in a daycare center of the church when that incident happened. And I peeked out the windows and I saw cops coming. So I knew there was something inside the church that would do damage to us. So my, my dance group ran into the, the bathroom and all we had to defend ourselves is a knife, a, 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 a box cutter and 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 a wooden and some wood to block the doors. Now Lakewood Church, of course, home to a very large faith community, and once many of these churchgoers had been able to escape the building and out into the campus, were praying and singing in order to comfort themselves and wait for those moments once the all clear was given. We're also waiting this morning for more information from Lakewood Church about when they may open again and what the status is of the investigation inside. For now, reporting live outside Lakewood Church, Victor Jacobo, KHOU 11 News. So many questions still need to be answered. And the fact that that little boy knew to look for a weapon in case something happened is scary enough in itself. Victor Jacobo live for us this morning at Lakewood Church. Thank you.
507 is your time now this morning. Community leaders are reacting to what happened inside that church, and that includes Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo. On X, she wrote that she's grateful for the quick response by off-duty officers who took down the shooter. She went on to say, I will not make any assumptions because information continues to come in as to what motivated the shooter, but I am asking that the investigation looks into whether it was a hate crime given the shooting took place at an all Spanish service. We'll continue to stay on top of this investigation for you and bring you the latest developments both on air and online throughout the morning. For now, you can find our full coverage on KJU.com.